and here it is, the return of the car video. I know you've all been waiting for one on the edge of your seats. Um, I'm going to talk about social networking, but first of all, the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice that my hair is different. Um, I got highlights put in it, and it's not looking very good today, and the light in this car isn't very good, but it is different, it is highlighted, it is blonde, um, so yeah. But, no, I'm going to talk about social networking sites. Um, don't really know where to start. Um, I'm a bit addicted to Facebook and Twitter, if I'm if I'm honest. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and the reason I think that I like them so much is because um, I I find real life relationships hard, like friendships hard. So it's easier for me to sort of express myself over the internet, where I can. Um, not be a different person, but like just sort of think about what I'm going to say before I say it and control things better, control my friendships better. Um, but as with everything, there's a huge downside to being on social networking sites, and um, I've, I know what I'm trying to say, but it might come out very well. Um, Basically, even though I love having things like Facebook so I can keep in contact with people, there's a huge um, negative impact on it for me specifically. Because like I go on, for example, I log into Facebook in the morning and I enjoy seeing what everybody else has been doing. Um, but if I, I, it can upset me quite a lot because if I see people being invited out places, people talking about having parties, photos of people having lots of fun, um, maybe even like friends of mine who I'm really jealous of who they get to socialise normally whereas I don't. Um, it, it upsets me quite a lot and it can be very detrimental to my state of mind if I am constantly exposed to people um, socialising you know, like, um, quotes normally. Um, so like, half of me would absolutely, would probably be a lot better off without it, without being on Facebook, um, because then I wouldn't be exposed to that sort of, um, so that sort of thing, but the other half of me would absolutely, it would probably be worse if I didn't have Facebook, because then I'd leave, because then I wouldn't even be able to sort of um, um, keep socially uh, keeping my own social keeping a social circle while I'm not at college like I've been home for nearly five weeks now and because I don't have any friends at home I haven't actually been out once obviously I've been out of the house with my family and stuff but out with friends no um, so when I see people I know um, and who I'm good friends with going out twice three times a week it just gets me a bit down um and then there's the ugly side of it the really part of social networking working sites which has actually probably been the most detrimental um when you talk to people over the internet it's difficult to know what people really mean um and in the same way it's easy to be misunderstood it's easy to get carried away because you're not face to face with the person and I found it when I was um, in the process of in the process of that sounds very posh but um, the relationship between me and my and my best friends was, was um, breaking somewhat um, because I couldn't talk to them about what was bothering me in person because I was too shy I don't know really why, because I was too shy, because I trusted them too much, I was worried that I was wrong I found using Facebook an easier way to talk to each to talk to, we found using Facebook easier to talk to each other about our issues with each other and in a way that was sort of good because if it wasn't for that it never would have got out but if it also wasn't, but it was also sorry something's wrong with my ear, it keeps sort of popping um, it also made a huge issue out of the fact that 
things were misunderstood. Um, we couldn't just have a face-to-face -face conversation, like you had to wait for replies and stuff. It, it was just very complicated and as a result it, the, things got ugly. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that social networking sites are good if you can work with it so that it doesn't affect your mental health because I have to be careful what I, the people who I have on my Facebook, I have to be careful the sort of things I put on my Facebook because like when I get um, really low and if I feel really lonely sometimes I get, um, oh there's a guy in a truck coming this way, oh no it's got out, sometimes I get quite um, desperate for people to talk to me and to notice me but because I can't just text someone and say I'm feeling low tonight, do you want to chat? I end up putting status after status, tweet after tweet, um, crying out for help, not in a bad way, not in like a really, really bad way, but just sort of like depressing status, and people do pick up on it, and I have lost Facebook friends because of it, but the reality is that when I'm in that sort of state of mind, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't do it for attention, like most people probably think, but I... I actually feel those things. I don't think, oh, I'm going to post this status and then this status and then that status to try and get this person's attention. I literally just do what anybody else would do if they were... I just post my statuses as I feel like I want to. Everybody else does that. It just so happens that mine are very frequent sometimes. You know, I have the odd bad night where it's like that. It is status after status after status. Like, just detailing how much I hate my life. And then in the morning... I delete them because I realise how stupid it was and I realise how people must now think of me as quite... I don't know, I, I, I don't like how people must perceive me but in a weird warped way I, I just sort of hope that someone will see it and want and to, want to talk to me. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. But I'm never, I'm, I, always, I love my Facebook and my Twitter. Um, what else was I going to say? Not much. I've got another little um, resolution for you. It's not really a resolution, but the other day I went into town and I bought a really pretty notebook. And I've decided that I'm going to write in it every compliment that somebody gives me. I've called it the compliment book. Why ever not? Um, and I'm going to write down every time someone gives me a compliment, I'm going to write it down. And I'm going to look at look at it when I feel um, down, and hopefully it will make me feel better. And I'm looking forward to filling it up. Um, this is a weird mishmash video. I'm going to be quick because I've got like a minute left on this. Two websites I've recently discovered that are going to be really helpful and they look really good. The first one is if you just search Black Dog Tribe into Google, it's the a website that Ruby Wax has recently started up. It's basically a bit of like a social networking site for um, depression. Um, and the second one is another social network site. It's called Anxiety Social. Um, it's a bit like Facebook. It's um, you can like add people and um, not ne not necessarily your actual real life friends, but just like online friends. Um, and it share your share your experiences of, of anxiety and write in your diary and you can change your mood to let people know your mood it's it's just nice to talk to people it's like a, it's like facebook but for people with anxiety so and i'll put the um those links in the description box so yeah this video's nine minutes long and it's about to end so i will see you soon i'm not sure when because i go back to college on monday yes so excited i'm bored out of my skull um oh squirrel Anyway, um, yeah, I'm so excited to go back to college, so I don't know when I'll next have the chance to make a video, but I hope you're all well, and I love all my lovely, I love all my lovely subscribers, there, I said it, um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, because that would be lovely. Thanks, bye.